And I feel like I've um, had to work even harder to, to you know, again, um, make the team for this this week. And it's a huge honour, you know, any time um, you have the opportunity to even train, to even make a squad, uh, to put your hand up, to, you know, earn a green jersey is a, is a huge honour. So um, absolutely it's as exciting as it was, you know, uh, back then, if not even more. You've moved across this back line a little bit uh, between different <laughs> positions. You started off kind of out in the wing first year. Uh, you found yourself at times in and out half. You're playing centre this weekend. Is there a most comfortable position for you in that team? You're very good to remember I was on the wing, actually. Yeah, started, yeah my first cap, you did right, I was on the wing. Um, really, really grateful that um, and, and incredibly, you know, um, humble to have started in the Irish group at Jersey in a 10, 12, 13 position. Um, and have a run around at wing at one of the stages. But um, I'm certainly enjoying 13, you know, and learning about the position more. Um, it gives me a chance to, um, you know, help the younger ones in the, the 19 role as game managers um, from, you know, second th from the later phases in, in open play and things like that. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'm enjoying uh, being able to see a bit more, you know, space earlier uh, to communicate that. And so in terms of that part of the, the game, it's... Um, it's exciting and it, and it keeps me um, stimulated as a, you know, um, uh, an outside centre as opposed to a 12 or 10. Um, it also, you know, gets me excited to, to bring in our back three in the game a bit more uh, with some weapons out there, with weapons all over the park. So, you know, as a 13, uh, to see a little bit, to have a little bit more time to see how we can get those girls in the game is, is, is uh, something I, I love. Well, Adam was saying to us, you've got so many young back three players at the moment as well who you're trying to maybe spray the ball out to at different times. Has it actually kind of maybe rejuvenated the squad having all these youngsters come in? I think of young Bevan Parsons, 16, 17 years of age coming in. What's it been like as a more experienced player seeing all these youngsters join the squad in the last year? It's been fantastic. It's been genuinely exciting. It's been... Um, it's been... Yeah, it's just been super exciting to, you know, um, learn how the girls are playing at the moment, you know, to understand how we can get them in the game more so they can express themselves a bit more. Um, and we're learning from them as well, you know. We're learning how to adapt a bit more off players that we haven't necessarily trained as, as much as, as, certain, as certain other players, senior players. So it's um, it's been a really, really... Um, uh, you know, super time to get to train with those younger girls and the whole squad overall. You know, there's some other experienced players um, in there who are still quite young. Um, so you know, overall, it's uh, it's been exciting bringing those younger girls in, and it's a good uh, you know foundation for Irish rugby. It's, it's a positive sign. For your kind of early stages with the international team, you were doing a bit of jetting back because the family had moved over to England, and you know, George then came back and started coaching here after you retired. Has it helped being maybe a bit closer to base than having to do all that travelling around? It certainly, yeah, it has been uh, easier. It's probably the first time that I've been based in, you know, Dublin in the last number of years. Uh, even before I was kept in 2015, when I lived in Galway, um, I was training for, you know, over two years to, you know, um, working really hard for a couple of years, but driving up to Dublin from Galway like three times a week, every week for the last sort of few years, and then flying over every week um, from England. To, so this is the first... This is the you know, first time they've been based in Dublin and um, not travelling as much. Yeah. Um, sort of, you know, um, at this stage of uh, my lifestyle, it's a, you know, it's a bit more suited to, to me and my family. When it comes to the familiarity with the players around you in that back line, does it help that quite a few Leinster players have been picked that you'd be familiar with these from playing the interprovincials with? Yes, it does. Certainly, um, you know, certainly that's always a, an advantage to um, get to play with players in your province but at the same time you know this is a national squad and um, we need to learn how to adapt and uh, we have you know in terms of playing with other um, girls around the country it's fantastic having more uh, girls from the Ulster region and uh, you know Munster and Connacht and, and Leinster it's been super to have all four provinces genuinely represented because the players are that good that they're in the national squad so um, that's certainly a positive step Are you still going to be going between the 7s and the 15s squad or are you more likely to playing more 15s now? I'm more 15s at the moment. I certainly missed the 7s game and, um, you know, would have loved to have my time again if 
the opportunity was there, but certainly your 15s is a, a game that I'm also passionate about and, and passionate about uh, helping bring our younger girls through. So, you know, you mentioned before about, uh, you know, um, the teens coming through, coming into the squad and, um, you know, the early 20s, that sort of, uh, the youth coming through and that's a really exciting time and I feel that um, the 15s game uh, still needs a few of the senior girls to help guide those younger ones. So at this sort of stage in my career, I feel that, um, you know, perhaps, you know, while I'm still learning the game and focusing on my individual role uh, and contributing to the team, I'm also um, very conscious that um, there's a support role that I feel I can offer for the younger girls, which is uh, um, important as well. Is that something you just want to take on yourself or has Adam told some of the older players maybe take a younger player under your wing or try and pass something on? Uh, Adam Griggs' coaching style is um, is excellent. Very, um, you know, play-led environment. It's, um, you know, he, he, he has trust in his players and his senior group to know what to do in terms of, you know, how to um, get the best out of each other. So with regards to, you know, our coaching team, Adam Griggs and Jeff Carter and Mike Ross, the, the, you know, Anthony Eddy, they've, they've been incredibly, um, you know, especially Adam Griggs has been very, um, you know, very good to sort of trust our, our players and know what to do. So. It's all about, I guess, trying to make a good start this weekend. Uh, Donnybrook, Friday night against England. The task of playing England then, um, what's it like getting ready to play them? Uh, it's always a, a challenge, isn't it? Um, a, a super challenge and the pressure will be on them as a professional side. And, um, you know, for, um, for us, it's about testing ourselves uh, as individuals and as a team, you know, against the second best team of the world. So it's a really exciting opportunity for us on Friday night. Um, and we'll have, uh, you know, a couple of days this week to prepare for, again, for um, for England on Friday. Um, but at the same time, you know, we believe we've done the work and we believe in ourselves and our, you know, our ability and um, we're just excited to, to show what we can do as a team. 30 of their players are on full-time professional contracts. Would that be the dream for you someday to be in a situation like that? Certainly for the, you know, the, the, the future in Ireland, it's, um, it's a uh, case of if teams are doing that, then it means that commercially other teams, other unions need to, otherwise you get left behind, wouldn't you? So um, certainly it would uh, you know, be a dream for, for, for girls, I'm, I'm sure, you know, coming through that there's an opportunity there to, you know, train as a professional rugby player, certainly. On a final note, the aim is obviously to try and get off to a good start this Friday night, but do you set a goal for what you want to achieve over the next eight weeks or so in the Six Nations? Yes, as um, you know, uh, within our units and as, as a squad, certainly we do. Uh, but would be, you know, focused on our roles um, as individuals, as units, as uh, as a squad, as a team as well. Um, and we'll be, you know, um, we'll be putting pressure on ourselves to ensure that we put in the performance of our lives this Friday, because uh, there's an opportunity there to um, to really, you know prove to ourselves and prove to the nation that uh, the women's 15s game is, uh, you know, is breaking through and um, we're genuinely excited.